At 9.30, we start this half hour's news with the word of a shooting at a high school in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We have live pictures coming in from the scene. There's the parking lot. It happened at a high school, Wilmer Hutchins High School on the south side of Dallas, no more than about seven or eight miles uh, south-southeast of uh, the Dallas downtown area. So the reports indicate that at least a st one student was hit by gunfire in the parking lot. That student was rushed to the hospital. Still no word, though, on uh, that student's condition. The suspected gunman then ran off and may have gone into a nearby field. The, here's where, pol uh, where things get a bit more complicated. What you're looking at there is a high school campus and the parking lot and the football field just beyond it. I was looking at maps a few moments ago, though, of this area, and there is an elementary school uh, just almost adjacent to this high school uh, within, I would say, maybe another quarter of a mile or so. So obviously there's going to be concern, and you can see that law enforcement has converged on the scene. They brought in K-9 moments ago. They, there were some reports that they had pulled somebody out of the field and had that individual in handcuffs, but at this point, it's a fluid situation. We're not quite sure if that's the gunman or not. Parents are being allowed to pick up their kids from school or at least being alerted and being prepared to do so. So this is in the Wilmer Hutchins High School campus. About a thousand uh, students attend that high school. Officials at the school posting moments ago on social media that everyone was safe, obviously beyond the one student uh, that was uh, injured in the gunfire. So we're going to keep a close eye on this situation. We'll bring any updates as they come in and, of course, have a full report for you on Fox 10 News at Noon. Guys. Ron, thank you.